Meet Lisa Roberts. She's a sought-after tastemaker who calls trend-setting designers her friends. She started her career as an architect, then became a product designer. You can find her designs in all the top department stores. Her first book, Antiques of the Future, was a huge success. Now she's working on her second book, Design Pop. Lisa's constantly on the lookout for the coolest and best in product design. For Lisa, it's fun, it's exciting, it's life. This is my design life. Hi guys. Maria, my research assistant, and I are going to be discussing my new book and the chapter we'll be focusing on this week. Blurring the Lines is this idea that designers today and artists and craftspeople are all crossing over into each other's professions. This is a hotly debated conversation yeah. today in the design world. Right. Why is this being debated? Art was once considered a thing that existed solely to be beautiful. Design didn't have to be beautiful, but it needed to perform a function. And craft was simply handmade. But what's evolved is we can't see today where one begins and the other ends. We're going to show our products that do cross those boundaries. Mm -hmm. Take, for example, the Porca Miseria chandelier. Ingo Maurer is a lighting designer, a lighting inventor, who has now moved into the art world. Each one of these chandeliers is uniquely made. So what he has done before in mass production, he is now doing this in one of a kind. This chandelier is made out of broken porcelain dishes. They only make about 10 a year, and it takes four people five days to create. It's artistry, and yet yeah. it's a light. It's right. a functional it's kind light. kind of like sculpture. It's sculpture, and yet it's still a light. Mm -hmm. So, and it's Learn a, the line. Right. In another example, Ron Arad, a renowned architect, and Dai Fujiwawa from the fashion house of Isi Miyake collaborated on a chair. And critically acclaimed furniture designers, the Campana brothers, created a stunningly Vogue handbag. Imagine if Picasso had done a line of luggage. So I have another product that I want to put in the book. Shoes! Shoes! <laughs> we love shoes. So these are by Gaetano Pesci. Gaetano Pesci is... Guy not usually a shoe designer. No, he is um, an architect. And not just any architect. His building and furniture designs can be seen in the collections of most major museums. Pesci collaborated with Melissa to manufacture this unconventional line of shoes. So he's an unlikely candidate to design plastic shoes. But really, he's just built the framework. It's got all of these little circles. So yeah. each person cuts out the shoe themselves. Okay. Depending on you know whether you want to make it into a sandal, you can cut out the front of it. You cut it down lower. You can do anything you want, but you customize these mass-produced shoes. So I decided that I should give my whole team a pair of shoes. I want to see how everybody is going to individualize it for themselves. And then can we have a fashion show? And then we'll have a fashion show. <laughs> <laughs> This is an ashtray function. To, function. So ashtray. It's called Too Young to Die. Mm -hmm. It is Yoshitomo Nara, is right. the artist. He uses these innocent characters, pastel colors. So you think it's very charming and sweet. And yet there's always something macabre, something a little evil, a little something nasty about his work. And this She's little child came out of cute. one of his paintings. <laughs> You would think that's cute. Right? Yeah. He um, is not a Japanese a, artist. Not a designer. Not a designer. The company that made this is Serial Art, yeah. and they're based in Philadelphia. Yeah. So let's take a visit there. Oh, great. And see what else they may have. Yeah. Because I think this company really specializes in going to artists yeah. to create designs for them. I haven't been there ever, so. Oh, it's fun. <laughs> The owner, Larry Mangle, seeks out brilliant artists of our time and collaborates with them to create functional objects. Items like clocks, coasters, even toys. This clearly merges the worlds of art, design, and craft. And it got started in an unusual way. I was selling expensive art 
I had a gallery all through the 80s, and you know, everything was a million dollars. My wife was working for a toy company, and I said, I have an idea. I think we could make stuff and sell to these chains of toy stores. But do you now sell these things to toy stores? Um, it's progressed. Yes. And we kind of moved from the toy business. The whole idea was to make this accessible to a large audience. Mm -hmm. So what are these things? It's a sculpture by Kenny Scharf. Kenny Scharf is a former graffiti artist. He evolved to become a mainstream artist represented by major galleries. Kenny wanted to make a water pipe that oh. he could keep in his house, that no one would really know what it was. I wonder what you smoke out of a water pipe. But there's a little place to, um, to put your tobacco <laughs> and a um, place to put your mouth on top, and they work. <laughs> And how are these selling? They people love these. <laughs> and I, 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 I don't know, but I've been told they work very well. <laughs> Just uh, hold that up to your mouth. I'm going to send this to your son. Perfect. <laughs> we may need to test this one. <laughs> this is the, the last project that, that we've done. It's a cookie jar made by Tom Modernist. It's called the Mama Bear Cookie Jar. I must have this cookie jar. Uh -huh. Look how cute and they are. Oh my god. You love this, don't you? I, this mm, one's for you. I love <laughs> Tom Otterness is a sculptor. He works in bronze. He's very well known for his large-scale mama bear with her cubs. And this cookie jar pays tribute to that. Because yeah. the bronzes are really expensive and Tom hasn't made a lot of objects that so you could really take home. Yeah. And uh -huh. it's functional. So it really captures the essence of blurring the lines. Larry, thank you so much for giving us this You're great welcome. tour. You're welcome, it's my pleasure. I just need to do one thing. Yeah. <laughs> Maria doesn't want to leave without her bear. <laughs> I'm ready, I'm ready. <laughs> Did he just let me walk out with the bear? Coming up. Oh my God, look at that. Lisa would not be happy if we broke the ashtray. Oh. It's time to head up to New York. I'm headed to the shop at the Cooper Hewitt National Design Museum. The Cooper Hewitt is a subsidiary of the Smithsonian Institution. It's the only national museum devoted exclusively to design history and contemporary design. The 64-room mansion was commissioned by steel magnate Andrew Carnegie. It was equipped with state-of-the-art design at the time. It included one of the first private elevators in America and an early version of central air conditioning. Oh, the store looks great. Thank you, Lisa. What are you looking for today? I'm looking for objects for the book. What is this thing? So this, this is something I'm really excited about. This object is by Maison Martin Margiela. So this is one um, magnifying glass, obviously made um, from one side of a pair of eyeglasses. Oh, that's fun. Wow, what is this over here? The uh, bright yellow so and... So this is your, your, your space, space saver colander and a funnel. They collapse down into being almost flat. Oh my god, that's fabulous. Really cool, right. Very good. Oh, wow. Good for small New York apartments. I don't know what I like more, the collapsible colander itself or the fact that it's locked in a glass case. Like the Hope Diamond. What is this thing here? This is strange. This I think is so beautiful. It's called an air vase, and uh, it's basically, oh. it's just a flat disc of paper. I thought the air vase was really cool because it's made out of paper, and it transforms. It starts flat, and when you pull it up, it retains a shape. If you look at it, it's actually white, but then if you twist it up, it looks, the whole thing looks pink. Yeah. And this is oh very, very God. beautiful. Blue, yeah, and then neon yellow. Oh, I see. So it's gray and pink, and that's blue. Oh my God, look at that. Yeah. That is but so cool. But perfectly produced and is very reasonably How priced. How much is it? It's $600. It's $20, <laughs> $20 per set of three. You can actually use it to wrap a bottle. Yeah. And you can actually put food in it, candy in it. All right. Across town on the roof of her studio, my photographer Kelly, her assistant Gordon, and my graphic designer Lisa B are all hard at work photographing the Nara ashtray, which I'm featuring in my new book. 
We are taking pictures of the ashtray. The title on it is Too Young to Die, so we are acting as if it's about to hop off the rooftop. And we're like, don't do it! If this falls, Lisa's gonna kill us. What we've shot so far is not exactly working for us. We need it to be more extreme. We need more from the ashtray, basically. I think we should try more we have it in the air. Lisa would not be happy if we broke the ashtray. We'll make Gordon do it, so you yeah. and I won't get in trouble. Exactly. exactly. That's a lot of pressure on Let's just give it a try. Let's just give it a try. I'm nervous. Gordon and I are tossing the ashtray back and forth, and we're trying to, like, throw it so she can read it as it's leaping through the air. She captured the ashtray flying through the air. I did a great job throwing it. Gordon didn't drop it. And I think it might work. I think this is it. Looks great. Looks good. Let's move on. I'm leaving the photo shoot. Coming up, my staff is here for the shoe fashion show. This is a problem. This is a problem. <laughs> we decided to throw this ashtray from Lisa's private collection back and forth. And I didn't even drop it, and then going down the stairs, I like slipped and it was slid off the box and it shattered on the ground and... Maria, it's Lisa. I dropped that stupid ashtray. I need to get another one. Maria, I am counting on you. I can't believe Lisa B broke the ashtray. But I'm gonna go see Larry at Serial Art and hopefully he has one that we can replace it with. I'm gonna sneak it back in the gallery without Lisa knowing. While I'm in New York City, I'm paying a visit to renowned artist Michelle Okadoner. Hello. Lisa. Hi. Her exquisite sculpture can be found in major museums and private collections the world over. Some consider her mother nature incarnate as her work is touched with the inspiration of the organic form. Whether it's sea life, trees, or the curves of the human body. So what are you doing in New York? I love your work and I wanted to see what was new. Wow, what is that? What mother of pearl looks like under a microscope. It's going to be hanging over an escalator in the largest shopping center in the Middle East. This is the ceiling over this is an the, escalator? Yes, this is going to embrace you. It's white gold leaf. And it's going to be surrounded, bordered by beautiful pearls. Can you imagine going up in an escalator in a mall and being engulfed by gold and pearls? Is this yeah. like the most extravagant thing you've ever done? Almost. What about your project at the Miami International Airport? Extravagant. The Miami Airport project that she did took over 20 years. It spans a mile plus. She cast sea life in bronze and embedded it in the floor of the airport. So there's 8,000. 8,000. And how many of them are different from each other? Every single one. This is an amazing project. I think traditionally art has been something that is not functional. It's something that's decorative. It's a painting, it's a sculpture. Design mm, yeah. always has to have a function. See, I don't think those categories matter anymore. I make <laughs> things that interest me. And I don't worry about whether they're design or craft or art. So let me ask you, do you have anything in your repertoire that is mass-produced, has a function, and is also representative of your artistry? Absolutely. Come in here, and I'll show you the candles. Oh my gosh. And these look just like your forms that you had made as sculpture. When they're lit, they just seem to glow from the inside. Are these expensive? They're right. a few hundred 
A couple of hundred dollars? Wow, how could you burn a candle that costs that much money? Don't you always get a little nervous burning a new one? No. No? No. It's not like it's It's just Christine. life. <laughs> it's just life. Everything has to go. I don't think I could ever light something that beautiful, knowing that eventually it would be destroyed. The way these candles blur the line is really very simple. A fine artist who is used to working one of a kind has found a way to mass produce her artwork in a functional object. What are you doing for dinner? Tonight? Yes. I'm available. Why? All right, I'm going to curate you into an evening with some friends and you'll see. Okay. Because we've got candles happening. Terrific. Michelle Okadoner has graciously invited me to a dinner party she's throwing at Budokan in New York City to see a whole lot of her candles lit at once. I can't believe it. They're wonderful. Up here. Do the no, honors. No, no. no, no. no. I, 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 here. Come on. I'll do the math. All right. All right. Oh, okay. Oh, my gosh. Sorry guys. Oh, You're they changing like it. forever. Oh my gosh. And this. here's this one. This one Great. I don't feel so bad about. Lisa's out. I'm gonna sneak the ashtray back into the gallery. Let's see if we can pull this one off. Thank you. I owe you. I'm back home in Philadelphia, and to get over my guilt at lighting those expensive candles, I'm now focusing on my shoe design. If you remember, I gave my entire staff, including my TV producer Nancy, the Gaetano Pesci shoes that you design yourself by cutting out the circles. Yeah. So Lisa gave these out to her whole entire team. That's my size? This. You have a giant pair of these shoes? So what do you want from me? You need to... Design a pair design of shoes. Design these. There's going to be a fashion show. You know how I feel about shoes. I believe that women feel about shoes the way men feel about cleavages. They'll go anywhere for a good pair, okay? But these, uh-uh. Nobody's chasing after these. Like, how much do these shoes cost? These cost $126. $126 to make my own shoes? Yes. Okay, I've already screwed them up. Yes, you did. <laughs> You just, oh, this is horrible. Hold on, stop. You did, you just screwed one. All right, no, we can fix it. Hold on. Wow. Well, we're going to fix them. Work your magic, toots. My staff is here, and Nancy's coming in to see the shoe fashion show. I can't wait to see the transformations. I personally think mine are really adorable. Okay, here we <gasps> go. Oh. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> They're so cute. Those shoes are so ugly. This is, um... They look like little bedroom slippers. Toenail polish. Yeah. <laughs> no. uh Yeah. It's toenail polish. Were they originally? I dyed them. No way. Cool. And then I put one. Oh, you broke it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so Wait, sorry. They're so I didn't want to cut too much. I'm gonna cut this out for my bunion later. <laughs> I didn't want my bunions to be on TV. <laughs> oh, that looks great. Nice job. You go, Kelly. Fine. I didn't do anything to them. <laughs> I, I like them just the way they are. Cop out. Now, you didn't take anything off, right? I didn't do anything. So you could add wings to the back. Either a great designer or incredibly lazy. <laughs> Lisa? <laughs> no comment. 
And Lisa, oh. I have to say, those are hideous. <laughs> those are, that, that may be the ugliest shoe I've ever seen. I'm really hurt that you don't like mine. You've hurt my feelings. Well, you know what, you all <laughs> like them until Nancy came into this. Trying to encourage her artistic <laughs> endeavor to, oh, you know. What is that? That's Yiddish for I hate them. And what are these <laughs> ugly Frogs, things? Exactly. <laughs> I ruined them. They're horrible. All right, so the shoes are definitely going in the book, along with the ashtray and Michelle Okadoner's candles. I think we've right. had enough with our little game here. Fantastic. <laughs> all right. See y'all. Bye. Bye. All right. Bye. 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 Don't forget your shoes. For more information about the products you've seen, go to MyDesignLife.tv.